Well, I'm very obviously not in my bedroom. Welcome to Scotland! It feels so nice and so exciting and so weird. A lot of emotions, but it feels really good to be here overall. I'm coming in, this is like the next day. I realized I showed you guys a lot of like artsy clips of like airport and the flight and the train and all that jazz which was lovely and then I immediately hopped into bed and fell asleep whenever I got back I think I got like a random takeaway and just slept and today has been well before I say what today has been obviously I've talked about a few previous vlogs but I'm officially moving to Scotland soon to start my psychology masters at St Andrews still weird to say so we are currently here this is my partner's flat beds not very made because we've been out all day house viewing so ignore that but we're clearing my partner's flat one we're doing house viewings too and then we're just generally i am also exploring st andrews for just a tour to see my future facilities which is exciting but that is tomorrow so the vlog is going to perk up a lot whenever i get to st andrews but for now i'm just chilling chilling in my boyfriend's flat in Dundee and he's obviously not here otherwise he would be like in the frame behind me it's not a very big room he's away to trek for us for food my saviour filling my belly with food because let me see I'm actually gonna get like my rings up on my watch we have done like oh it's not gonna go come on we have done like a ridiculous amount today I have overlapped all of them like they're all like double for my calorie goal I am 141% completed. It's only dinner time. Yeehaw. Means I can eat a lot of takeaway for my dinner, but also no, because we're not going to equate food to calories. I'm going to eat a delicious takeaway and enjoy it and not worry about what my watch says, because this is hot girl summer and in hot girl summer we are having good body image. But back to the point. My exercise percentage is 263. I have my exercise in as like 30 minutes a day. You know, I was kind of like, that could include like just walking my dogs, a gym workout blah 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 it was like 30 minutes of exercise a day is a pretty reasonable target that isn't like excessive because i know these watches can get very excessive <laughs> i've done 80 minutes by walking to all of these house things i'm a fitness queen i'm officially changing my content to just fitness because it's what i'm made for obviously and then my stand is 133 percent I don't even remember why I started talking about my watch, but I'm tired, I'm knackered, I'm delirious. I'm in this really shitty, like, old tourist t-shirt, says Tenerife. I got it in, like, 2015, if not even before then. Apparently my boyfriend stole it, which I didn't know about, but I've taken it back. I don't know what takeaway he's gonna bring, so I'm gonna feast. We'll see. I'll potentially vlog it. If I don't, I'll see you tomorrow at St Andrews. Good morning. I am all pretty in pink and I'm ready to explore my future university. Oh no, I put my finger in front of it. No. We're gonna have to keep that in, The mountain sun kills sky color schemes. Makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life. The simple times in the
and welcome back to like these dorm room diaries. It's still really weird getting my camera out and recording in a different place. But I have just had the loveliest day in St Andrews. Like you've seen so many of the beautiful clips but I promise there was so many more wonderful places that I didn't get the chance to get my camera out. We'll chat through the day because it was a lot of fun and there was one big thing that I could not video so we're getting to it. But I rushed in on the bus. I figured my way around the bus line, which I'm very proud of. I was nearly late, but I wasn't. That was because one of the professors from the psychology team at St Andrews offered to give me a tour around the facilities and just, he went so overboard. He gave me and my partner a tour of like the entire town, like everywhere, like his favorite coffee shops, good recommendations for like food and stuff. And it was so cute. He was so, 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 so lovely. And I also feel so reassured because he teaches one of the stats courses. In my course, the last time I came to St. Andrews was just on a visit to see my partner. And I remember going around the place and he was being like this. This is amazing. This is such a spectacular place, such a phenomenal uni. And I would love to study there, but I, there was no courses at the time that interest me. I think I've actually talked about this on a vlog, sorry for repeating myself if you watch multiple of my videos. And then now I'm visiting again and like I have an offer to study there and I'm going to be doing like a flipping masters. It's surreal and it was a beautiful day, my favourite place. We took the lecturer's recommendation for lunch and I had a phenomenal veggie burger and some chips and a gin. But yeah, that was the fantastic part of the day. Yesterday, I don't know how much I vlogged, but I had a very busy day of house viewings and we went to see four and out of the four, we literally liked one. We didn't get it. Mm. So there is more house viewing ahead, but it's a, like, it was the first flat we applied for. You know, it's not gonna go smooth, but it didn't go smooth. So let me reach him. I bought books. Would this really be a consolate video if I didn't buy an unnecessary amount of books even after promising that I would go on a book buying ban? No, so I bought two more. I don't know how much I talked about it, but I bought Ariadne by Jennifer Saint in the airport. I've been reading a little bit of it and it's wonderful so far. But in St Andrews, something I didn't realize is that they have a Topping & Co bookstores. I did take some vlog clips. It was, it was the best bookstore I've ever been in. It just had that bookstore vibe, like cozy bookstore. So many picks that I've been dying to get my hands on and I was overwhelmed. Buying two books was supreme self-restraint, but knowing I'm gonna live there, I can see a lot more books coming in the future. But first we will start with, I bought the dud avocado and oh my goodness, it matches my top. Both so pink. I love it, but yes. Beautiful, stunning cover, The Dud Avocado by Elaine Dundee, and I will read the blurb very quickly. This has been on my TBR for a long, long time. It just sounds amazing, and I will tell you how amazing it sounds. It is also a modern classic, which we stand. Sally J. Gorse is a young woman hell-bent on living. It's the 1950s, and she's an American in Paris. Woody, headstrong and disaster-prone, she dyes her hair pink and pearls the left bank in search of love, adventure, and fame. Will our heroine be forced back to the States to fulfill her destiny as a librarian? Or can she keep up her whirlwind Parisian experience? Librarian, Stan, Paris, I love and I miss, I would die to go back, but thanks pandemic. And three, hellbent on living, dyeing your hair pink and going wild in Paris. Sign me up. But okay, here we have another one we don't know what it is. This was a blind date with a book. How exciting. And I can't remember the blurb for this. I think I read Witty. I, I took a vlog clip of it, so I'll put it up or I'll like fill you guys in because I don't remember. But like Witty, funny and Japanese novel. And we all know how much I love Japanese literature. So unboxing this mystery book is going to cheer me up after not getting that flat, so let's go. I saved this for the vlog, by the way, which was like true dedication because I've had to do like a 30 minute bus ride back from St Andrews just looking at it on my lap and not being able to open it. So if I can get through the wrapping, we can get into this. Oh, we have, we have a fuchsia pink cover so far. <gasps> oh my God. 
I got kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Once again, it matches my top. Oh my god. But this book, I think was it my friend Anna or was it online? But someone recommended this to me and I really wanted to check it out. I think it was too expensive at the time. Ah! I am delighted that I got this. This was so much better than I thought. I was worried it was gonna be either a crap pick or I was already gonna have read it. Oh my goodness! Kitchen! It's all so little, it's so dinky. I'm technically reading Ariadne, but I might have to read this on the train to Edinburgh tomorrow. But speaking of Edinburgh tomorrow, I I have to go and finish packing up this flat so that we can get out and get on the train on time. So I'll see you tomorrow for a last day in Dundee before we head into a new vlog for Edinburgh. Ooh, but I'm so happy with my book. Yay! <laughs>